we're water testing this wall now and what's starting to come to light is it looks like this there's a block wall on a third floor rear here this might be an addition wall where they extended the house out or something and if they stack this block on the uh, brick wall down below and the block is porous you can see these cracks in the block weren't painted right in here you can see the moss growing on them if those are open enough and taking enough water over an all-day rain then that water is going down that hollow block wall hitting that brick wall down there which is right on the floor line and wicking back into the living space. That's what could be happening. But this is the kind of thing that's probably gonna take forever to find with a water hose because a water hose is not gonna generate enough water to activate that leak. This is something that probably only activates after all day rains or wind driven storms or something. Is it wet now? Yeah, Dave just confirmed that the block is wet and uh, it's just hitting that brick wall down there. In this area, you can see it only goes up about 20 feet to where the block wall ends and then you have the old brick structure that comes right up where that cracking is. So they just filled in this back with a block wall and then they didn't really waterproof it enough. They just put a coat of paint on it, thinking that was enough, and it isn't. That, that paint is not enough to keep moisture out. And then to compound it, after the block wall gets wet, it goes down and hits that, the water gets inside the block wall, it goes down and hits the top of that brick, which is more dense, and it stops and starts spreading back in towards the house. So the problem here is this block wall needs to be waterproof better and that uh, little ledge down there that little lip needs to have a cant put on it so that if water does come down this wall it's channeled right over the top of it it doesn't dam it up and push it back in that's the way we see it anything else Dave about it